So I just wanted to do a very quick review of this little uh, mini CX-10 Wi-Fi drone. Now I actually got this a few weeks ago, but when I first got it, the, it was unusable because the app that you can download, so basically this is a super tiny quadcopter. There it is. With a built-in Wi-Fi and um, camera. So the idea is you can fly it FPV and it is super dinky. So, and it comes with this little transmitter and it comes with a mobile phone holder. And the idea was that you could use the Wi Fi to fly it from the FPV view. Now, the problem is that the app you can get from the Google Play Store uh, confused me because it, it will, you can control the uh, quad from the app and see the picture through your thumbs, which is not very usable, or you can fly it with the transmitter. But as soon as you buy into the transmitter, you lose the video link. And I couldn't work this out, I thought I was doing something wrong, but it turns out there is a bug fault feature, whatever, in the official app from the Google Play Store, which doesn't allow you to fly with the transmitter and use a phone for the video view. Now there is a dodgy Chinese version of the app, which you have to download from a fairly dodgy Chinese website, which uh, if you click a green button, you, you basically destroy your phone. And if you click the gray button, you supposedly download the APK file. Now I was nervous to do this, but I just did it today because I saw Andy RC's video where he shows this works and uh, it does work really well. So I don't, I don't want to repeat that review, which I'll link below. Um, but basically this, uh, this now works great. Now there's a couple of little snags just to be aware of. This um, phone clip is very vicious. It's really sharp edges and it's got a very strong spring. So you really don't want to get your hand caught in it. So what I'd suggest is you load your phone up before you start, because that way you'll save your fingers. Uh, then you turn the quadcopter on and the little blue light flashes and that means it's now ready to connect to Wi-Fi. So then on your phone you can just connect to the CX-10. You can then start the app for the CX-10. You have to use the dodgy one. And that gives you this screen and at that point you're ready to bind the transmitter. So you then turn the transmitter on with a little switch under here. You then have to go full power and then no power and that will bind and then these lights go solid. And then lastly, there's a button on the side here, which is the takeoff button and the land button that I've never used, uh, which you then use to take off and fly using the transmitter. So let's try this now, see how it goes. Oh, and start recording the video. You just push this little button that starts a video file and it records an AVI file. So let's now do this. So I take off and you're off. So you can see I am now flying from the transmitter with a video feed. Now this, the, the transmitter is not brilliant, but it does work well enough that you can have a bit of a laugh with it inside. And I did manage to fly it outside the house. If, it, uh, if there's any knock or contact with the quad, so if your hand touches it or if it crashes, it immediately cuts the motors, which works really well to prevent damage which is a very clever idea. So anyway, I will now cut to the video of me flying around the house. And also uh, I managed to fly out of the door upstairs and through the window in, from the garden. So I'll clip that on as well, because they're quite funny. Anyway, it's uh, that if you don't want to download the dodgy software, what I was going to say is you can buy the uh, quad on its own without the transmitter for about 18 pounds, which would be a much better buy. You can control it from your phone. If you uh, on here, you've got these buttons on screen so you can fly it from the phone. But obviously it's harder to see the video image while you're doing that. So it's a shame because you're wasting the sort of FPV facility, but it, but you could do it that way if you wanted to. Personally, I now that you've, I've got it working, I quite like having the transmitter, um, which is about, uh, I think I paid like 24 pounds with the, for the whole lot. So it's still not a, a crazy amount, but um, for a bit of a laugh, I think that's worth it. Anyway, I hope that's good. And uh, here's the video now.